Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I'm kind of excited today. Band-Aid. Kind of excited today to show you a a new watch from Seiko, but it's quartz. I know it's not even solar, but I think it's cool. I use this hand now. I think it's cool because it's titanium and it's got sapphire. Uh, a couple other little goodies I'm going to show you. Um, but I do like to think that they're starting to listen to what people want. Uh, you know, rewind to last year, the King Samurai and the King Turtle, uh, Sapphire Crystal, Ceramic Bezel. So they're kind of getting there. So I think these four watches I'm going to show you today, uh, you'll see, I kind of, they're getting there. They're kind of listening. My own, my wish check. I am wearing the Marathon G-Star Black on that black bracelet. Da, 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 da. And my 38 millimeter Islander. Okay. Let's check them out. Okay, so today I'm getting into these um, these four titanium quartz based dress watches. Very simple, everyday watches. Um, uh, maybe a little bit of dress to them, but they're really nice, really sleek. As I just said, they are all titanium. Okay. Uh, and they also have sapphire crystals. Um, housekeeping. Before we before we get going, I want to make this known. So this is the warranty card that comes in as we are authorized Seiko retailers. Give that a quick read. If you want the instruction manual, they tell you where to get it. If you want a print manual, you have to call them. You open it up, and it is just the warranty card. Seiko has stopped putting books in the boxes. So when you see unboxings online and they all these books fall out, that is not going to be the case for much longer. Um, these are new models. They've already stopped with the, with the books. Um, the, the diver renumbering system because of the change in, in, in the ISO standard. Those no more books, uh, just a card and an envelope telling you where to go <laughs> to get the booklet. So keep that in mind, guys, because a lot of people raise are complaining, saying, saying we are not shipping the correct items, when indeed we are. You just have to read. So we are getting into these titanium watches. Um, it comes in four colors, uh, kind of like a silver, a, a dark gray, a blue, and a little green two-tone. They're all around the same price. The green guy with the gold accents is a tad bit more. They all share the same pedigree. So, of course, uh, I'm going to just do the blue guy. Uh, I mean, there's not that much exciting going on. I just thought it was a really nice watch. Um, and like I said, I feel like maybe there's some kind of listening going on because they're delivering a sapphire crystal on a dress watch. No, these are all quartz. None of them are solar. Uh, I have noticed in the lineups this year and late last year, uh, Seiko is, seems to be moving away from solar. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Only a few solar... You know, there's the, the Solar Patty Diver is still in the lineup. Um, the Couture Solars are still in there. But new releases? Uh-uh. I don't think anything new with Solar came out. So we're looking at SUR 373. They're, they're all around the same part number. SUR 36-something, 37-something. You'll see the price, 330. Um, your street price that we're doing these at is around 250. Okay. Water resistant to 100 meters, sapphire crystal. The band is made in China. 6N52 movement. So let's go. Uh, so it does run on a Seiko Quartz 6N52 movement. Nice. It is 40 millimeters in diameter. So not tremendous. Not a 38, but it's a 40. Good size. 9 millimeters thick. Look at that. Look how thin that is. Look at the case back, how thin it is. Everything is shaved down. 47 on the lug tip to lug tip. It's a solid screw down case back of titanium. So titanium is hypoallergenic. If you have a nickel allergy, like a lot of, like not a lot of people do, but some people do, uh, this is the watch for you. Um, I don't know of anybody that breaks out from titanium. I guess it's possible, but it's titanium is basically considered hypoallergenic. It's why a lot of fittings that go in your body are titanium. Uh, it is a titanium bracelet. Guys, it is a solid link bracelet. Holy moly, it's a solid link. It is a hollow end link, but it is a solid link bracelet, and it does have a two-position micro-adjust clasp. See? Okay. Uh, oh, see two positions? 
uh, through the bag, one, two. It does come with a Seiko warranty, of course. A beautiful, uh, just a beautiful looking watch. It does have a blue dial. We have nice kind of sword hands. It has a little bit of loom. We'll check out the loom later on, of course. A, a date window framed very lovely. Oh, guys, it's, it's a simple, beautiful watch for 250 bucks. Definitely fits a slot in your watch box. Let me tell you what I think is also awesome that they might be listening. Every watch, every all of these, these titanium guys come with a book on how to adjust it. Huh? All those pin and collar bracelets in the past, they never told you how to adjust the bracelet. They include a tool. How cool is that? Okay. So you don't need to go to the jeweler. And then in, in uh, the state of things that we're in, not a lot of jewelers, might, you know, local jewel might not be open. It is a cheap tool. It is a stamped tool, but it is a tool. One end, we find a pin. The other, uh, you know, like a little pin sticking out. The other end, we find just like a little a V. This is to remove the pin. This is to reinsert the pin so you don't stab yourself. Uh, I did do it. It is eh, pin and collar. It's pin and spring. Why? I don't know, but sizing it is super easy. Um, I, no, I'm not going to show you how to do it because I've done pin and collars before. It actually, though, this actually is pin and spring. So if you look at the back side of the links, we have little arrows. These arrows are pointing towards me. So that means I take the point of the tool, I put it in here, and I push. The pin comes out, and then, captivated, right here in the center is a spring, a coiled-up spring, as opposed in the in the past, this was a collar on the divers, um, or other or presage or whatever. Uh, it's a coiled up spring, and that spring will fall out. So you tip it, and the spring falls out. You do it twice. You, t you take the links you want to get out. You put the spring back in. You just drop it in. It's captive. Put the whole thing together. Push in the pin as far as you can with your finger, and then use the flat end of the tool. You know, kind of the, you know, this end. You push it down until you get close to the bracelet, and then you use the not so pointy pointy end and you finish the job. So bravo to them for including a manual on how to size it in like 14 different languages and the tool. So blue dial. Can you see the blue? I think you can. I don't want to make the exposure too high. Then people complain your background's too bright. There you go. Oh, let's look at the tags real quick because there's more stuff on the tags. Um, not this one. This one. New link system bracelet. New link removal. And they give you a little 2D barcode where you can, I guess, point your phone at that, and uh, it'll bring you to I Love Seiko, that channel. I don't even know. Didn't try it. Comes in the silver dial. Not bad looking. Not beautiful. I'm not a silver fan, but it does look nice. Oh, operation of the watch, guys. Two clicks out. We can change the time. One click out. We can change the date. Okay. In, it's not a screw-down crown. It's just a push-pull. And which and we are clicking away. You want to see second hand registration? A lot of people get bent out of shape on this stuff, so this is just random. Not horrible. Could it be better? Yeah, probably. But she's ticking away beautifully. Uh, let's go with which one? I can't even tell what color I have in hand. This is the uh, that anthracite or dark gray. Beautiful, beautiful color. Really nice. I like this one better than the silver. It works nice. Oops, trying to hold it straight, and then a little bit of an angle so you don't get the studio lights. Uh, I'm, I'm doubting there's AR coding on here. Certainly does not look it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned water resistance was 100 meters, which also is great. Uh, a lot of times on a watch like this, you might expect eh, 30 meters or so. Uh, 100 meters, nice. And then the last one is that green two-tone. Uh, they love their green two-tone, right? Uh, the Alpinist. Um, and then the SNE 529 or the 525, one of the solar one, uh, also a sapphire. Uh, so this is a nice green dial with gold accents. Um, I will do a, a do a quick loom shot, and then we will. Um, I'll pop it on my wrist, and we'll see how it looks. Oh, before we get to the loom shot, I forgot to mention the most important part of titanium, besides being hypoallergenic, is that it is lightweight. These guys weigh in at 75 grams, so it is like a feather. Now, keeping in mind it is a dress watch, um, I think the loom is pretty good. Let me uh, expose it a tad bit high. There you go, huh? That looks nice, right? Um, my pet peeve is not a dress, unfortunately. There's a little bit of rotational uncertainty to the watch, although you can figure out where 3, 6, 9, 12 is, so I guess unless your head kind of cocks over to the side, 
I guess you do know which direction up is, but if it's on your nightstand at night and you don't feel for the crown, eh, maybe you can confuse it, but still legible uh, for sure. Super lightweight, super comfortable. Wonderful fitting, 47 millimeters on that tip to tip. It is a perfect size. Oops, they were good. Sorry guys, you see it, there you go. Uh, bracelet, wow. I'd say there's more room here than usual. I would be, I don't know, usually a three linker to remove. This looks like it would be close to, it's at least four. So nice job. It, I think it really looks amazing. So I think that'll, um, yeah, that'll, I think that'll do it. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you this cool new Seiko Titanium Quartz with Sapphire Crystal. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so yet. Questions or comments, you can put them down below, and I will try my best to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.